Hey guys, this is Cadme here from It Came From The Radio in conjunction with Bitten Apple TV along with Ralph. He's here, I promise you he is. We're down here at New Jersey Horror Con and I'm telling you, we're here to scare the crap out of you and I'm hoping to give you insomnia for nights years to come. Please enjoy the, um, all the interviews that we're going to have. We're going to be checking out a couple of more things. We're going to get some, uh, some interviews with some celebrities, as well as find out a little bit more about these horror books. It's going to be a blast. Say bye, Ralph. Hey, guys. This is Cadme here from It Came From The Radio in conjunction with Bit and Apple TV. Now, we're here in New Jersey, Horror Con. Now, like I've told you guys very frequently before, how much I love the genre of horror and sci-fi. So now, I grew up watching Dark Shadows. Don't be confused by my age. I watched a lot of stuff off of syndic syndication. However, I absolutely loved the show. And for a long time, I didn't actually know the name of the show because I would describe it to my friends who were my age who had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so now, years later, I learned the name. I'm, I still love the show. I still enjoy all of my, um, all my old shows. And then I see this here in the corner and my face lights up. And I've been hovering in this corner, stalking Sarah just a little bit. <laughs> um, so what I do definitely want to ask you is, when, I mean, you were such a young child when you worked on the show. What was that like as a kid, being on such an iconic, legendary show? Well, I was 10 years old when I was on Dark Shadows. And what 10-year-old little girl doesn't love to be dressed up in period clothing, running around in castles with, well, it was a set, but in castles with coffins and fake cobwebs and candles dripping. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was make-believe. It was Halloween. It was, yeah, exactly. It was a wonderful experience for me. So I've always wanted to know, like, um, when child actors are on, um, they're on TV, what did your friends think about it? Like, did they ever tease you? Like, what did they ever think about it? I was tortured. <laughs> You know, it's funny because at first, when I first started the show, I lived in Philadelphia, so I had my friends there. And then because I was on the show as much as I was, I was, I had to move to New York. So we got an apartment in New York and I started to go to a private school in New York. The friends' reactions from each place was entirely different. The friends at home in Philadelphia, having no experience with anyone that was in the industry, would tease me unmercifully. You know, oh, you're that girl, oh, you think you're special, um, oh, you're stuck up, you know, just teasing me. And then the, the children that I went to school with in New York, some of them also were in the industry, and they totally got it, so I didn't get any of that from them at all. Um, didn't bother me. It really didn't bother me at all. That's incredible. Now, be, considering the fact that you were a ghost child, have you ever seen one? Have I ever seen a ghost? The truth of the matter is, I have not seen a ghost, but I have, on several occasions, been visited by spirits. Uh, twice in my own home, and I can, I can guess at who it was, uh, twice in a second home that I had, and I also slept overnight several times at Seaview Terrace in Newport, Rhode Island, which was the exteriors were used for dark shadows. And I had two incidents happen to me there on the premises. So overall, I've had more than a, a half a dozen opportunities uh, to feel that. And I have to tell you, in all of those circumstances, none of them were what I would consider creepy. They were almost comforting. One was a little startling, but the rest of them have been comforting to me. Not scary, which I never would have guessed. Um, I actually felt the presence of a family member. I felt their hand on my shoulder. And you know yourself, you feel the heat, you feel the, the, the light pressure, and, and just, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Um, it, was, it was very comforting. It was very comforting. It came out of nowhere in the middle of the day. It sounded like it was a moment that you just needed someone to know, like, hey, I'm here. I'm here for you. Oh, my God. that That's intense. I'm so excited. You had a, you, like, she gets to play a ghost. She has ghost experiences. This is awesome. <laughs> I think that you need to be open to it. I think that you need to accept that these things happen, whether you've experienced it personally or you know people that have. 
there's, there's a realm that we don't completely understand. And I like to think of myself as understanding that there's a higher power and a lower power, and that sometimes they cross. I have to say, I agree with you on that one. So now, for anyone, for, oh, well, depending on your age, if you're too young, you, <laughs> where can they find you online? And if they do like a, if they have to contact you, like if, is there going to be like a seance involved? Are we going to go into a time warp if we do it? I mean, just how would they find you? I have evolved from seances to Facebook and the internet and websites. So. My professional name is Sharon Smith Lentz, and that's S-M-Y-T-H Smith, and that's my, my maiden name, the name that I used when I was on Dark Shadows. And my husband likes me to use my married name, which is Lentz, L-E-N-T-Z. So I have two Facebook pages. One is my pro page, where you can see where I've been, what I'm doing, uh, things about Dark Shadows, some great photographs. And then there's the Sharon Lentz page, which is me. It's me, my kids, my cats, uh, inspirational messages. I try to keep it very, um, very light and positive. It's like yin and yang rolled into one. I love that. <laughs> sort of. Kind of, sort of. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys, for the, for the younger generation, please look up Dark Shadows. Google and YouTube has everything. It's okay. Catch up. It's an amazing show. You would fall in love with it, especially if you love horror and you love the thrill. It did. Thank you.